Jerry wants to know how her own family fits into the story of Stephen Austin's pioneers. Hello. Hi, it's good to meet you. Come on nice in. To meet you. She's meeting archivist Sharon Hill from the Daughters of the Republic of Texas. This organization was founded to honor the female descendants of those original Texas pioneers. So, Sharon, I've come to find out about these were my mother's, mm -hmm. and she passed away a couple of years ago. And these were her pens. The most important name on that is Isaac Best. Oh, that is it? Pen. Yeah. And the one below it, Mary Wilkins, was his wife. Oh, I so see. So those two are the most important names who you're related to. For a woman to become a member, she has to trace her lineage before 1846, but your relative, Isaac Best, was, uh, goes beyond that. Uh, he was one of Stephen F. Austin's original 300 colonists. Mm, so mm. we're the real Texans. Yes, <laughs> but it's, it, it gets better. Oh, uh, yeah? It gets better. This is your lineage, your parents. Yeah, and my grandmother. Right? Through their records, the daughters can trace Jerry's mother's family back through seven generations to Jerry's five times great-grandfather, Isaac Best. And do you know anything about the Best family? Because I really, do you know like where they came from? Or is there anything in the records about them? That's dated um, October 1823. October 1823, land deed, Isaac Best selling land to James Taggart. State of Missouri, Township and County of St. Charles. Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is just part of a tax list. Oh. There's a translation. Okay. And you might be able to find a name on there. So... Uh, where is it? Let's see. Oh, Isaac Best, married, age between 40 and 50. So five children and four slaves. He had slaves. God. Now, I know this can be dif something difficult to understand, but uh, during the time Isaac Best came here to Texas, slavery was accepted all over the world. So to have slaves, um, well, he, he would have been None very of these wealthy. other people had slaves. In Austin's colony in 1825, 69 families owned slaves. That accounted for one-fourth of the population. His slaves uh, more than likely helped him with the cattle on the ranch. That's quite awful to find out he had slaves. Um, I suppose it was common in those days, but no, that's kind of horrific. 